Wastewater treatment is a complex process with unique challenges for plant operators. The treatment plant discharge flows directly into public water, so operators are responsible for maintaining strict purification limits. Treatment occurs through biological processes that are easily impacted by changing process conditions and must be carefully monitored to ensure bacteria have the right environmental conditions to complete their tasks. In addition, the influent quantity and content fluctuate constantly due to weather events and community water use. Wastewater treatment plants are large energy consumers. That means high costs, so managing these process challenges effectively is critical. An automation system that works for you to keep the process running consistently can make it easier to stay on top of these competing demands for an operator's attention and minimize operating costs. Siemens Sematic PCS7 control system has built-in capabilities to help you tackle the most challenging applications in wastewater treatment. Let's take a closer look at the biological treatment process. The clear and intuitive operator display shows a schematic of the process with all key performance indicators, like electrical power, energy consumption, and total gel doll nitrogen for quick and effective decision making. Standardized faceplates are used to control individual plant components, and trends can be pulled up with just a few mouse clicks to automatically visualize and analyze any changes to the process. All the data about the plant operation is right at your fingertips. Model Predictive Control, or MPC, is another tool embedded in PCS7 that can be used to manage disruptions to the wastewater treatment process. With conventional control, dynamic processes in a sewage treatment plant can be slow to react to changes. For example, waste inlet flow has a considerable effect on the process. When it changes rapidly or unexpectedly, the process doesn't respond well. That's because most traditional control strategies don't directly consider influent flow rate. It's only when impacts occur much further downstream that the system will start to make the necessary adjustments to counterbalance a new influent flow. As a result, key elements for efficient operation, the nitrate and ammonium concentration, can stray from their ideal steady state before corrective actions like adjusting the oxygen blower or sludge pump speed are taken. This leads to process instability, potential failure to meet environmental limits, and excess power consumption. MPC, on the other hand, is designed to analyze the behavior of several variables at once, predict the future process response, and adjust any necessary set points to counteract disturbances and minimize negative impacts. You may be wondering how the model predictive controller knows what to do to optimize the operation. The model is developed by executing a series of bump tests. A control engineer introduces a measured disturbance to the process and trends how different process variables respond to the change. The resulting algorithm is stored in the control system configuration and is executed in real time in the controller operating the plant. So with an MPC algorithm running in a wastewater treatment plant controller, the control system maintains tight control of the process, even during uncontrolled swings in the feed rate. When a fluctuation is detected, the MPC smoothly adjusts the oxygen blower and sludge pump to maintain the nitrate and ammonium values close to their set points, without too much oscillation. By implementing an MPC control strategy, you can minimize disruptions to the process with quick and automatic corrections when disturbances occur. This leads to less variability in the process and lower utilization of actuators, increasing the equipment's useful life. It also helps reduce alarms and manual interactions by the operator so they can stay focused on their most important tasks. For more information, email us or visit our website. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.